If you're watching this video, you probably know what redstone is, most likely. Well, at least I hope you do. And you probably recognize what this is. It's just a normal 2x2 piston door. Really easy. We just have redstone updating these pistons. And we just get a nice, simple door that we can walk through. But what if we took this a step further? What if you could design your own 2x2 piston door with redstone? And that's what I'm going to be showing you today. So we're going to take a look at the 2x2 customizable piston door. Let's go. So this is the door in front of you. So that's the little door frame that we go through. And as you can see, there are four layers. And there are four panels, each one corresponding to each block of each layer. So we can just start simple. And if we just push this button, that goes for the top left of the yellow layer. And we push this button and bam, it gets extended. And also, while it's closed, you can't change any of the, the pistons. Even if you try, nothing will change. So you can push the button and it will open it. And we can just turn this lamp off and make a few doors. So let's say we want to make these two blocks go and maybe this one go and then maybe bottom right on the blue layer and if we push the button as you can see we get the blue in the back and everything in general it all works and we open it and it all opens and if you just take off every single one and try to close it it won't do anything except lock the panel so you do have to push the button again so if we just have nothing turned on and we push the button, the door stays open, but we have to push the button again. So then these panels get accessible, I guess. So you're probably wondering how the heck this door works. So if we just look at the redstone, yeah, it looks pretty big, but it's all, I can't, I can't really say simple because you're going to say it's not simple at all. So I guess we'll just start with the selector panel on how it works. So the selector panel, uh, so this is the input, these two pistons and the hoppers. So the top buttons correspond to the hoppers and the bottom buttons make these pistons go. So let's say you were gonna push this bottom left of the yellow. Uh, this piston extends, this observer activates this piston pushes up the sand block which lets this clock over here go through the block and activate the lamp and if we just follow through down here it made this observer activate this hopper line and if we just follow this yellow line over here so you can see it activates this piston which shoots up its yellow block and the white circuit, which is the button over there, if we just push it, that block will go there. And that's because when we push the button, it will send a pulse through this white line, which activates all of these observers. And if there's a block in front of it, then it will activate that corresponding piston. So we just follow it. And over here, there was a block, so it activated the piston and how the lock feature works when we open it as you can see this gets pulsed and all these observers went down so therefore nothing can activate these observers or these observers so the panel is locked and you can't change anything unless you open it again sends the line through the white line and these observers are back in place ready to be used again so then when you're done with the door, you can just come here and push the button again. That piston will activate that piston again. This thing will retract. And now there's no line going through activating the lamp. So yeah, just repeat that four more times. So let's say top left, it goes through here and activates this piston. This piston then goes up and activates this comparator, which activates this comparator, which activates this block, and this line gets activated. 
all the way over here so then that piston this piston here with the block extends and now that observer can activate that piston and top right same thing except now we have a redstone block and it's gonna go to that corresponding piston so it's basically just the same technically this could be expanded if you really wanted it to be but I don't really know why you would want to expand this so yeah I hope you enjoyed this kind of door dissection on the 2x2 customizable door yay if you want to see this thing for yourself then come on to the cube crowd server I'll leave the IP in the description and then you just go to my plot so yeah this was the 2x2 customizable door and now I'm going to leave goodbye